Hello friends, welcome back to Edusega YouTube channel. Here we are going to look at fundamentals of analytical chemistry. There are five parts of this section, so in this video reveals the first step which related to chemical equilibrium. First of all, I want to say that if you are new to our channel, subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon to get notifications of our latest videos. So let's get started. Analytical chemistry is a measurement science consisting of a set of powerful ideas and methods that are useful in all fields of science, engineering and medicine. A typical quantitative analysis includes the sequence of steps shown in the diagram. In some instances, one or more of these steps can be omitted. For example, if the sample is already a liquid, we can avoid the dissolution step choosing a method acquiring the sample processing the sample there are three steps sub steps when processing the sample there are preparing a laboratory sample defining replicate sample preparing solution physical and chemical changes the other main steps of analysis eliminating interference calibrating and measuring concentrations, calculating results and evaluating results to by estimating reliability. Chemical composition of aqueous solutions At chemical equilibrium, the rate of forward process and that of the reverse process are equal. Most of the solutes we will discuss are electrolytes which form ions when dissolved in water and thus produce solutions that conduct electricity. Strong electrolytes ionize essentially completely in a solvent such as sulfuric acid, but weak electrolytes ionize only partially such as phosphoric acids. These characteristics mean that a solution of a weak electrolyte will not conduct electricity as well as the solution contain an equal concentration of a strong electrolyte. According to the bronsted lorry theory, an acid is a proton donor and a base is a proton acceptor. An important feature of a bronsted lorry concept is idea that the product form when an acid gives a proton is a potential proton acceptor and is called a conjugate base of the parent acid. Every base except a proton to produce conjugate acids. Species that have both acidic and basic properties are amphoteric. Here shows the dissociation reactions and relative strengths of some common acids and their conjugate bases. Note that HCl and HClO4 are completely dissociated in water. Many reactions used in analytical chemistry never result in complete conversion of reactants to products. Instead, they proceed to a state of chemical equilibrium in which the state of concentration of reactants and products is constant. Chemical equilibrium in which the ratio of concentration of reactants and products is constant. Ex changes in temperature in pressure if one of the reactants and products is a gas or in total concentration of a reactant or a product. These effects can be predicted qualitatively from the Le Chatelier's principle. This principle states that the position of an equilibrium always shifts in such direction as to relieve a stress that is applied to the system. The mass action in the position of an equilibrium caused by adding one of the reactants or product to the system. 
consider a generalized equation for chemical equilibrium. Simple W times capital W plus simple X times capital X equilibrium mark simple Y times capital Y plus simple Z plus capital letters stands for reactants and products and simple letter stands for small whole numbers to balance the equation. Expression of this reaction Equilibrium constant equals to concentration of products y times molar y and z times molar z divided by concentration of reactants w times molar w and x times molar x. Here are some equilibria and equilibrium constants. Dissociation of water, name of symbol and equilibrium constant is Kw and the constant expression is Kw equal H3O plus times OH minus. Heterogeneous equilibrium between a slightly soluble substance and its ions is a saturated solution. Solubility product is Ksp. Ksp equal barium 2 plus times SO4 2 minus. Dissociation of a weak acid or base is Ka or Kb. Ka equal H3O plus CH3COO minus divided by CH3CO1O H. Kb equal OH minus CH3COOH divided by CH3COO minus formation of complex ions formation constant beta beta equal nickel CN4 times 2 minus divided by Ni2 plus CN minus oxidation and reduction equilibrium K redox K redox equal Mn2 plus Fe3 plus times 5 MnO4 minus Fe2 plus times 5 H plus times 8. Distribution equilibrium for a solute between immiscible solvent K alpha equals I2 organic divided by I2 aqueous. Henderson Hasselbach equation. It's used to calculate the pH of buffer solution is frequent encountered in the biological literature of biochemical text. Henderson Hasselbach equation is pH equal pKa plus log unprotonated divided by protonated. Only uncharged species can diffuse through phospholipid membrane. In weak bases, pH equals pKa plus log B divided by BH plus pH minus pKa equal log B divided by BH plus concentration log pH minus pKa equal log B minus log BH plus the more positive the pH minus pKa the higher the amount of the uncharged in weak acid pH equal pKa plus log A minus divided by AH pH minus pKa equal log A minus divided by AH pH minus pKa equals log A minus minus log AH the more negative the pH pKa the higher amount of the uncharged. 
pH plus pOH equals 14 through at 25 Celsius. Activity coefficient and its properties. KSP. KSP is the activity coefficient, a thermodynamic quantity representing the effective concentration of a particular component in a solution or other system equal to its concentration multiplied by and activity coefficient property. In solution that are not too concentrated, the activity coefficient for a given species is independent of the nature of the electrolyte and dependent only on the ionic strength. For a given ionic strength, the activity coefficient of an ion decreases more dramatically from unity as the charge on the species increases. The activity coefficient of an uncharged molecule is approximately unity no matter what the level of ionic strength. The activity coefficient of a given ion describes its effective behavior in all equilibria in which it participates. For example, at a given ionic strength, a single activity coefficient for a cyanide ion describes the influence of that species on any of the following equilibria. HCN plus H2O equilibrium HCO plus CN minus. Steps for solving problems with several equilibria. First, we write a set of balanced chemical equation for all pertinent equilibria. State the quantity being sought in terms of equilibrium concentration. Write equilibrium constant expressions for all equilibria developed and find numerical values for the constants in tables of equilibrium constant. Write mass balance expressions for the system. If possible, write a charge balance expressions for the system. Count the number of unknown concentrations in the equation developed in above steps and compare this number with the number of independent equations. Make suitable approximations to reduce the number of unknown equilibrium concentrations and thus the number of equations need to provide an answer. Solve the simultaneous equations exactly for the concentrations required by a means of a computer program. Solve manually the simplified algebraic equation to give provisional concentration for the species in the solution and finally check the validity of the approximation. So that's all gonna be from today's video. We will meet up with questions sooner. So if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share with your friends.